hello everyone welcome back to our channel yes guys and we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel you guys are simply the best god bless you my people and we pray that um, god almighty will bless you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do even as you support this channel in jesus name amen thank you once again we do not take you for granted uh, your support is massive and it's huge yes we're back again uh, with more updates uh, regarding edo governorship election we know just yesterday and the news broke out that um, the Action Democratic um, Party, they are actually uh, filing a suit or they've actually filed a suit against the APC candidate to be disqualified from the governorship election. And what we've got right now, we've got the actual leaked document from INEC, um, that document um, that INEC um, received against the APC candidate. And the, the most interesting part of this is that uh, on that document, uh, there were discrepancies with the name of the um, uh, um, the running mate of um, Ize Iyamo, the person of Audu Ghani. And if you look closely, it's that kind of discrepancy that um, the APC screening committee used against Obaseki, could it be that uh, they were af actually after something, they did it on purpose to actually screen Obaseki out because they've got discrepancies on Audi's uh, um, document, but um, they've kept quiet. And right now, it's the Action Democratic Party that is raising that, um, that is raising it up. Anyways, my people will get more details um, in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Click on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. You guys are simply the best. Yes, we'll go straight into the news and get all of the details. A do election, the leaked document INEC received against APC candidates. Ahead of the September 9th gubernatorial election in Edo State, more trouble looms for APC and its candidate, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu, and his running mate, Gani Audu, over alleged certificate forgery. According to the document submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Ghani Audu is embroidered in a certificate forgery case as there are discrepancies in his academic qualifications and other means of identification. The discrepancies in the document is looking exactly like the ones found in the academic credentials of the sacked Deputy Governor of Bielsa State, Yo Barakumo Degi Erimioyo. And if care is not taken, same fate might befall APC in Edo State. In fact, due to the discrepancies in the man's credentials, it caused APC to lose by itself state after Supreme Court ruled against its certificate. It's learned that the Action Democratic Party, ADP, has instituted a court case at the Federal High Court in Abuja, seeking the court to disqualify Ize Iyamu as a result of the certificate of his running mate. While Ghani Audu swore to an affidavit submitted to INEC with the name as Audu Abudu Ghaniu, his other documents have conflicting names. In his voter card, his name is Audu Abdul Ghaniu. In his APC membership card, his name appears as Ghani Audu. And in his WAX GCE certificate he submitted, it bears Audu Audu Ghaniu. The discrepancies are confusing and also violate section 182 1 of J of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. This is also the same reason Adam Soshomole gave for the disqualification of the estranged former political godson Godwin Obaseki. If this case goes through, it is said that the Bayasa saga repeating itself if the election proceeds or APC candidate being withdrawn ahead of the election. Wow. It, I don't know. It looks like the, the odds are just actually against the Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu. And in the first place, you know, it took a while for uh, President Mohamed Buhari to actually endorse him, to actually meet with him. He only just met with him uh, on Friday. And after that, they, they had their flag of um, campaign activities um, in Benin City, uh, those states. But all of this uh, is still because speculations and uh, insinuations were going around that 
Buhari is still not in support because Buhari did not turn up for the flag off um, event. But it was stated that due to COVID-19, the elderly have been advised to stay out of um, public gathering, large gatherings and all of that. No one wants to lose their life. But the, the thing is, yeah, now there are two options now for APC. One of which is uh, is that um, the High Court, the Federal High Court, where um, the Action Democratic Party have filed that suit, they might actually, they may disqualify Pastor Saige Ize Iyamu or... They may not disqualify him. The election will go as planned. And at the end of the day, uh, uh, PDP will put a suit just like what happened at Bielsa in Bielsa because it was the deputy governor in the running mate in Bielsa that cost, uh, that cost them that post um, in Bielsa State. But we don't know how this one is going to work, how they are going to escape this because it's the same reason what Adam Soshomole said, the same reason why they screened Obaseki out, that his result had conflicting names, that one of them was showing Obask. And uh, even Obaseki explained that that was a typo error. It was a typographical error and all of that. But they still went ahead to disqualify him. So it looks like what goes around comes around. See what um, APC tried to use against uh, Gov Governor Godwin Obaseki on his second term. B. That is what is um, about to hunt them down. And it's not even PDP making this chase. It's a different party, Action Democratic Party. And guys, it's not just um, the Action Democratic Party that is after APC right now. Just recently. Uh, the Labour Party um, candidate as well, governorship candidate, the person of Osifo, made a strong warning to um, Asewaju Bola Tinubu that he shouldn't try to impose the, the brand of politics he plays in Lagos State uh, uh, on a door light, that they won't take it, that they've never taken such, that they've never acted in such a manner. Now, if he needs more information about how a door lights are, he should find out from his close ally, the person of Adams or Shomole. Guys, it, it's taking a different turn, I think, and things are, are taking a different turn right now. We know the election is not long to go. APC have not responded to this suit that has been filed against them. And the court has not said anything yet. We'd we'll wait to see how all of this plays. If the court is going to honor what um, the Action Democratic Party have stated against um, APC, or if they are just going to go ahead, or probably um, Audu has got himself to explain maybe what happened in all of the documents that there are discrepancies. And how would they escape this? Because that was the reason they said they disqualified Obaseki. Guys, it's getting more interesting. Anyways, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. If uh, Audu should be allowed to just explain himself that it was a typo error and election should go on, or just because they did same to Governor Gordon Obaseki, then they have to be screened out again. Let us know down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for your continuous support. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.